Vortex! What's happening with this weather, Katie? One minute it's sunny, the next it's raining. It'll start snowing soon at this rate. Oh, sadly, Tex, it isn't just our little town with strange weather. The climate of the entire world is changing, so the weather's getting more and more unpredictable and extreme. But why? All I wanted was to play fetch in the sun. Is that too much for a young, athletic superstar dog to ask? It shouldn't be, but unfortunately it is. You see, when you put pollution into the air, like gases from cars, planes and lorries, it acts like an invisible blanket around the Earth, which has been making our planet a little warmer over the years. But now, the blanket is getting thicker and heavier, making the Earth much warmer than it has been in the past, which is causing issues in the environment. Like polar bears aren't having enough ice to live on because the ice is melting. There are forest fires and sea levels are rising. Oh yes, I've even heard that some fish in the ocean are becoming too hot in their coral reefs. Yes, that is sadly true. And also this invisible blanket creates crazy weather changes like what's happening today. Right, I'm on it. This should cool things down! Unfortunately, Tex, it's not that simple! <sighs> but there are lots of different technologies that companies are creating to help us stop this from getting worse and to help control the temperature rise. One of these types of technologies are drones. Oh, cool. Like space robots? I guess kind of like that, Tex. But let's explore space robots another time. Today, we're talking about drones. Drones are used in many different ways to help protect our planet. Like protecting us against space invaders? Um, no, but they can help protect the future of the Earth by reducing the need to use transport that causes lots of pollution by replacing cars, lorries and planes. Cool. But well, how? Well, unlike most types of transport, drones don't use polluting fuels to power themselves. This means they can travel large distances without putting harmful fumes into the air. So they can do the important jobs, such as delivering medicines to hospitals, without adding even more pollution. Did you know that a drone could even deliver ice cream right to your front door? That is the greatest thing I've heard in my entire doggy life. Let's ask someone from PwC to explain. Calling PwC. Hi Katie, hi Tex. Wow, that is so cool. So what do these drones look like exactly? Drones come in all shapes and sizes, but mostly look like small spaceships, like this one. So they fly, but how? Drones use their rotors, which are a propeller attached to a small motor. This helps them hover and keeps them in the air. That is awesome. It is pretty awesome. Drones are also used in building and farming. They can be used to drop small seed pods so that new trees can grow. Farmers can use them to detect unhealthy crops and they can even be used to track endangered animals. So they're helping to save the planet, humans and all the animals. Clearly the animals are very important. Well, maybe they don't need to worry about the cats, but especially the dogs. Especially the dogs, Tex. Wow, thanks for explaining that to us. No worries. Bye. It sounds like drones have many amazing uses. They certainly do, Tex. And people at PwC help other companies learn how they can use drones to help the environment too. Plus, there are other people and governments who develop and create these drones and explore how they can be used. So you could develop a drone yourself one day. Why don't you imagine different ways a drone could help you in your daily life? Maybe a drone could even pick something up and drop it way at the end of the park to be fetched. That is a great idea. <laughs> Katie? Wait, what's going on? I meant pick up 
me, Paul, not me. See you soon, Tex.